Hi, my name is Stefan Nyman. I'm with the CC Jensen and Noria partner through the company Clean Oil Con. Today I'm going to talk about why machines need clean oil. There's a lot of things we could focus on. Today I've chosen to focus on oil film thickness and particles. Of course, there's also water and varnish and other issues, but that will be another session. When you have a machine in operation, any machine will be contaminated by particles, water, oxidation and acidity. That means the lifetime of the machine will be reduced and the oil it will also harm the reliability and the efficiency of the machine will be reduced as well. Studies have shown that 80% of failures that are related to oil are actually because of contamination in the oil. So there's a lot of hidden savings here. Most machines do have an inline filter already on the oil system, but they are normally quite insufficient, so the contamination level is increasing over time. They are also only focusing on particles, so water and varnish may still be an issue. If you have a very good quality inline filter, you may be okay in cleanliness, but it will be very expensive to run it. So when your contamination level is increasing, You'll, spend, uh, you'll have wear on the machine, spend more money on oil, downtime, different components you need to replace, and the oil itself and slush handling. So there's a direct correlation between dirty oil and the cost of running that machine or the cost of ownership. The problem is that most particles that create the wear are actually very, very small. The smallest we can see with the naked eye is roughly 40 micron. But the machines are actually being worn by particles I cannot see in the clearance size. Those are one, three, five micron in sizes. So if we look at the lubrication film thicknesses, when the machine is in operation, though, that's called dynamic film thickness. So not when you're having the bearing in your hand. The biggest ones are journal bearings and bushing and hydraulic cylinders. They may be up to 100 micron in oil film thickness, but mostly on the pressure and load, less than 10 micron. Next sizes, you go to in engines, piston uh, rings, you go to servo valves, different kind of pumps and uh, uh, fuel systems, you have roughly 3-4 micron oil film thickness. And the very tiny ones are when you're looking at ball bearings and gears, where you have roughly only 1 micron in film thickness. So very, very, very tiny particles will destroy your machine. Unfortunately, there's a lot of these tiny particles. Uh, roughly 70% of oil um, particles are below um, 5 micron, and only 10% are bigger than 10 micron. So there may be room for a particle of 10 micron in the oil group, but in the load zone, there's not. So the particle will be polarized and creates micro pitting and wear. And micro pitting and wear looks like this in a bearing. This is why you need to focus on very clean oil. This is a big table with recommendations, but if you can, you should aim for an ISO code 161411 or better. Why such a clean oil, you would say? Well, according to this table here from Noria Corporation, you can see the increase in lifetime if you uh, clean the oil for different component types. If you want to learn more, go to cjc.gk or the YouTube channel of CC Jensen. If you want to join some Noria classes here in Denmark, it will be conducted by Clean Oil Con, and you'll probably meet myself there. Thank you very much for listening, and have a good day.